Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to change front rotors on a Toyota Corolla. This is a 2011 LE, so that would be 2009 to 2013. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your wheel off, which we already did. But the next thing is, if your brake is stuck like this, is hammer it just like that. So what you're going to want to do is take out that bolt there. That is a 17. And then get this caliper off, which you may have to use a little bit of prying. Once it's broken with the breaker bar, and then take your ratchet, finish off what the breaker bar started. So come on, now pull your caliper off as the bolts are out and put it, make sure this cable here isn't too strained. Which Just so you see why we're doing the brakes. Pads looks like this. Break this part off. Yeah. Next step is to wire brush in between here. So the next thing you're gonna do is Take a C-clamp, preferably a big one. Yeah. Put it, so you wanna keep tightening your C-clamp until the piston inside is compressed. So he's trying to, we'll just say, persuade the brake pad in. There's a line for it, it's pretty easy actually. Bit of a struggle, because these brakes are ancient and clearly not taken care of. Once both your pads are in, you're gonna wanna put your rotor on. A rule of thumb is try your very best to touch the outside and not the center or the braking spot itself, but you know, it happens. Press the calipers to give yourself room for the new brake pads. You take this cap off. All right, so you're gonna take these bolts here and uh, tighten them down. Make them snug them up with a ratchet. Simple as that. There's two, there's one here, one on the bottom. Put your wheel on and get your lugs on snug and the torque spec for these 76 but our torque wrench only goes to 80. Take a 21, snug up your lugs. Time to torque it. So when you are torquing your wheels, always torque twice just to double check. If you don't, you will see the photos here. Um, I did not double torque. I did something wrong. My wheel hub broke. That was a very expensive night. I will list the photos. And I was very lucky considering this was in a small town and uh, like 50 miles before I was on the highway doing 70 miles an hour. Okay, put on your poverty cap and it's mostly good to go. I'm gonna go see if the brakes work. And just like that, you just did your front brakes. That cost about a hundred bucks, and that's, you know, the cheap stuff from Rock Auto, but it's better than the other stuff. The dealer's at least gonna charge you 300 or a mechanic. So, you know, it's a good way to save some money.